Good morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. That is also the name of my Facebook page. If you'd like to go over and click like and follow on the page, you'll be notified by Facebook every week when I have a new video. That is also the name of my website if you'd like to order any or some of the supplies. And here's the project that we'll be working on for today. I took one of these folding chairs that probably a lot of us have around the house and I used some chalk paint and I decoupaged napkins over that fabric. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those, paint the metal and decoupage over the fabric. The thing I did was I took a plain piece of white paper and I painted three different colors down because I wasn't sure which one would look best with the napkin that I was using. And I put gesso up in the top left corner. And I labeled everything just so that I would know which one looked better. And I decoupaged the napkin onto the paper and found out which worked best. I then wiped all of the metal down with alcohol just to clean it off. I taped all around the fabric here and on these curves you just want to use short smaller pieces and this is just to protect the metal from the gesso that you're going to put on the fabric. Now here's a few comments about painting with gesso. Some people will ask me if they can skip the gesso and if not can they use regular acrylic paint. I would suggest Going with the gesso, it is different than acrylic paint. It's already got a nice chalky finish. Artists use this underneath a lot of their artwork on canvases, and it's going to provide just the right base for those napkins to go over. It gives it strength. It gives it a nice smooth look. And I definitely recommend you do use gesso on this first step over your fabric. I also recommend using a sturdy chip brush from the hardware store and you do want to let this dry overnight. It will take a while to dry, so just make sure it's all dry before you start to decoupage on it. The reason that I'm using chalk paint is because with chalk paint you don't need a base coat, you don't need a primer, you can just get right to work. You do want to check with the manufacturer of your chalk paint. Some of them do not work on metal and even with the best chalk paint, there are some types of metal it will not work on. Now I wanted to roughly plan where I was going to put my napkin and I was going for more of a chintz type of a pattern. So I used a small paintbrush that I wet with water to tear the pieces. I wanted to plan out where I was going to put everything before I put it down. So I took off some of the hard edges and a couple of them I left on because they are going to go up against the edge of the chair. And for the four rounded corners, I just took the napkin and I cut the corners in the same shape. And then I wanted to separate this so that I would have four separate corners. So that when I laid it out, here's how it looked. Now I wanted to remove the napkins and keep them in the order where I had them placed. And I wanted to start decoupaging from the center out. And I've already separated my napkins and I'm just putting decoupage glue right over where I'm going to place this napkin. I'm gonna be a little bit careful going up against the edge here. And I am using a matte finish decoupage glue. If you get anything on the chair, you can just wipe it off. I always keep a warm, wet wash rag or a cloth on hand. You place your napkin down. I didn't put enough decoupage glue on, so I'm adding a little more glue there. And once you have your napkin down, you want to press it down gently, but take some saran wrap or plastic wrap and place it over it and really press everything down. This way you won't tear anything, you won't pull anything away, and this will smooth the napkin out nicely. 
Now I'm going to follow these steps around the rest of the chair, but I'm going to also use a small wet paintbrush. I'm going to dip it in water and just go around the edges to make sure those edges sink down into the glue. overlapping a little bit right here but what I'm doing is keeping the the one part of the napkin that overlaps I'm just keeping that free of any glue and I'll show you what we'll do with that when this dries Now that I have this bottom section complete, I'm going to go up to the top and I also cut out some rounded edges for the tops, the top left and the top right. And I'll follow all the same steps. I'm done with the top I'm going to let that dry and these pieces that we left overlapped on the bottom these are now dry and I'm taking a small artist's brush and I've wet that with water and I am tearing away those pieces that overlapped and if you have any little open spots there just cut out a little part of your napkin and decoupage it right over that I'm going to go around the rest of the chair and remove any pieces that I've left overlapped and I'm going to let the whole thing dry this top part and the bottom part we're just going to let that sit I did let this sit for about a good hour until everything was dry now that everything's dry I want to put two more layers of decoupage glue over this because we will be using it now I noticed that there seemed to be a bit of a line that I didn't want so I cut out some of my images and I just decoupaged them down while I was putting this next coat of decoupage glue on. I'm going to let everything dry and coat it again and then I'm going to put my top coat on. I did put the top coat on overnight and it takes a bit of time to dry. I also added a second top coat. You do want to add a top coat or a varnish. I wanted to use a matte finish and that's what the chair looked like before. And since it's still winter time, I couldn't put it in front of my hydrangea bushes with all the flowers on them, but that's what I'm envisioning for the springtime. And in the meantime, guys, if you've got any questions, by the way, I did top coat the whole chair, the metal part, as well as the seats, the fabric, everything needed the top coat on it. So if you've got any questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you so much for subscribing. I will see you next week with another video. Hope you guys are well. Bye-bye.